Welcome, welcome. This is Jay Nicholas for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We're going to tie a magnum size uh, hollow fly with uh, this puppy. It's a uh, Red and green with an orange collar, lots of flash, a uh, great fly to fish for any kind of predator, uh, unless you're trying to imitate like a sardine or something, because it doesn't look like a sardine. So let's get started here again with this Arex uh, Predator Stinger Hook. I've, I'm often using four aughts or six aughts. I think this is a six aught. Nice big hook. Very strong, but not uh, not overpowering at all. Um, I think so. I'm I'm using a. Uh, I've really been in a groove using 150D Vivas uh, GSP thread. Um, I like it a lot. Seems to be a very nice size to use for a lot of flies. Spin up my cord up my thread because this GSP is real flat. Tie that uh, red bucktail in nice and tight. Now I'm going to start adding in my red and green, green and red. These are strung saddles, and um, actually the reds uh, are from a patch. You see they're skinnier and longer than you would typically find on a strung saddle patch. Um, excuse me, the longer and skinnier, well, there's, there's a, there's a, if you have saddles that are wide at the base and very, very narrow at the tip, those are going to give you the best wiggle in the water. Uh, I've got a chartreuse grizzly on there also, uh, a little bit of super glue, a little bit of green flash, and then I'm going to put, uh, some green and red bucktail. Uh, I'd like to get that spread around the hook. It, it's not essential, but it's, it's, it's really nice if you can cr create a bit of a halo around um, those hackles to kind of keep them, make them behave, keep them going the way they're supposed to. Now I'm going to do a hollow style tie. And I, you see I have both red and green there. And I'm not specifically trying to, you know, sometimes with a fly, you'll, you'll try to keep the dark color on top and the, the lighter color on the bottom. This particular style of fly, I just, I just want to have some red and I want to have some green. And if one's on the top and one's on the bottom or they're kind of snaggly spread around, it's all good. It's all good because you're creating a, a color impression rather than an exact imitation. And I'm kind of uh, choosing the flash to use as I go. And uh, I'm always try to uh, uneven or jagify the ends of the flash booth so that so that they're not just one length. It just looks a little bit nicer that way. Uh, they, they tend less to uh, clump together. And I can see I've got some I've got some red, hollow red, and hollow green, and hollow gold in there. The super glue is a always, 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 unless I forget, uh, factor at each stage that I'm working up this hook shank. Uh, and you can tell this is fairly sparse. You can see, uh, you can see the gaps uh, in the hair there uh, w when you tie it back. Um, you, this, w this fly is going to push a lot of water. It's uh, going to be a very visible, a very, uh, it's going to stand out to the fish. Uh, but it's going to have some transparency and by gosh it's going to be easier to cast than if you used three times as much bucktail. So you see when I tighten down there on that thread my hair does, my bucktail does flare. You really want it to flare. You do not want to just have it be dead and lifeless uh, on the hook shank. and. Um, you know, he, as you tie more and more of these flies, you will get a feel for bucktail that will and won't work. 
But I have found as many of these as I have tied and fished. Oops, wrong end of the John. There, that one, that end fits. As much as I have worked with bucktail, and it's quite a bit. Although I will say that tying these flies is quite different. Boy, I sure didn't get that part. You think I could make it harder to wind that flashy boo on there? Tying these flies is much different than tying clousers with bucktail. Um, you pretty much, I pretty much have to um, work with the piece of bucktail uh, and, and then I'll go, oh yeah, this is really good, or oh, oh, this is not as good as I want it to be. So don't feel like you're alone if you struggle a little bit. So I decided with this fly to put a nice uh, sunburst yellow uh, collar on the head, and it's finished with a Pro Sport Fisher G3 Jungle Cock. This stuff is amazing. It really looks good. I darkened up that white thread with a Copic marker, and now I'm using some hard as haul cement. And I'll actually put two coats on, uh, extra durability. Look at that, look at the spectacular colors in that fly. Uh, this is very effective attractor pattern. I actually fished this fly for albacore. Look at the motion you get with it. Okay, thank you so much for joining us. Have a great time. See you again soon.